Hello guys, I'm Paul McWhorter and hopefully you have been with me through our series of 20 lessons on how to use the Arduino microcontroller. In that time you've learned all the fundamentals that you need to do some pretty cool projects with the Arduino. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to start a new series of videos and in this new series of videos it's going to allow you to take your Arduino projects up to that next level. And one of the limitations of the Arduino is, is that so far really the way we've been interacting with the Arduino primarily is over the serial port which is just a little serial monitor that pops up on the screen and you can have some text scroll by and you can send some text back to the Arduino but it's, it's pretty crude and it's not, too, uh, it's not too impressive. Well, the thing is, is that it is really, really easy to take your projects to the next level by learning just a little bit more. And what I want, want you to learn and what I'm going to start teaching you is a series of, lef of lessons on how to have the Arduino talk to a programming language called Python. The good news is Python can be downloaded for free. You don't have to buy anything. It just takes a few minutes to download it. And it's very easy, very, very easy to get Python to talk to the Arduino and back and forth. And then all of a sudden, a whole new world opens up for your projects. And <clears throat> I want to just kind of give you an example of one that I've done here. And what you can see is I've sort of created a little bit of a virtual world here in, in Python. And if you look down here. Here's the real world. Here is a little ultrasonic sensor and you can see here is my ultrasonic sensor in the virtual world. Ultrasonic sensor in the real world. Ultrasonic sensor in the virtual world. Here I have a little virtual red dot and here I have a little real red dot in the real world. And here I have a card. And what color is this card? This card is orange. And so I'm going to take this here in the real world and I'm going to put it down in the real world and what happens? It shows up in the virtual world and look it knows what color it is and as I get closer to the sensor it gets closer and as I get further it gets further and look at that little red dot we've sort of hid the red dot and then the red dot starts coming out of the page and we can kind of have it right there halfway and then the little red dot is hidden behind the, the card and then it starts coming out on the other side and then we go back and we kind of come through and we can kind of go back and forth and look at the virtual world in real time tracking what is happening in the real world. And look at this, I had an orange orange card, what if I had a purple card and we put the purple card down there, look it knows it's purple. Uh, well, it, yeah, let's get it back there. There it goes. Okay. It knows it's purple. And then again, that red dot is magically appearing back and forth in front of and behind that card. And let's see, we've done orange and orange and we've done purple. Let's sort of see, we kind of have an orangey yellow and that comes as orangey yellow and it works. Okay, we have a blue card, a light blue card, and that recognizes it. And whatever I am doing in the virtual world is being tracked. Whatever I'm doing in the real world is being tracked in my little virtual world. Let's try a red card. Okay, it recognizes it as red. And same thing, we can come and just slice that little dot right in half or we can hide it or we can watch it come through the card we can watch it go away and then sort of appear back behind it pretty cool how about a green card we come in it recognizes it as green and we can sit and we can just slice through that little red dot okay one more a pink one because I like pink sometimes okay and there it is working as well. This is just super cool and I can do this with just a, uh, let me get that color right there, come on, there you go. Uh, this is just super cool and you can do this 
with just learning a little bit of new programming. The, it's not going to be hard to learn Python because the thing is you already know how to do a for loop. So it's just in the Python we got to adjust the syntax a little bit. It's just a little bit different. You know how to do if statements. All those things you've learned in the Arduino, you can still do those in Python. It's just you got to learn a little bit of new, uh, a little bit of new syntax. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking you through this. This is the introduction today. I'm going to start, start taking you through a series of lessons of how to get your, your Arduino doing projects like this, working with the Python or Python in, uh, in libraries, and then you're going to be able to do some really super cool things like this. These projects are going to be really exciting, and I hope you'll stick with me, and I hope you will tune in. This is the introduction lesson. I hope you will tune in for the first lesson, where basically I will take you through the installation process of how to install Python in the libraries that we're going to be use, using. But I've just got to play with this a little more. I just think this is just absolutely fantastic. Okay, I'm Paul McWhorter. Hopefully you will tune in for this new series of lessons. We'll have all the supporting material on toptechboy.com and it will be under a new section of lessons called Arduino and Python. Talk to you guys later.